What's going on gamers? Today we are going to be going over the Win Dungeons Arise mod in Minecraft and how to install it. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Within vanilla Minecraft, there are many structures that can be found scattered throughout your world. But if you're looking for more that will give you a real dungeon-like feel, then you might be disappointed with what you're given. If you're looking to spice things up and change this, then mods are the way to go. And with the Win Dungeons Arise mod, you'll be doing just that. This is a Minecraft mod that adds tons of new structures to explore and conquer. From mushroom kingdoms to soaring airships, enemies wait for you at every corner. Installing mods is super simple with our panel, so you can get started in no time. Let's go over how to do it. First, visit the Wind Dungeons Arise CurseForge page for either Forge or Fabric. At the top of the page, press the Files button, and then scroll down and look for the version that you want to download. Once you find it, press the download button to the right hand side. After this downloads, save the file to a safe location, like a separate folder, because we will need it again in just a minute. Head to the Apex server panel and stop the server. Scroll down to the game file section and make sure you're running either Forge or Fabric depending on which version you downloaded. After that, enter the FTP file access from the left menu and log in. Find or create the mods folder and then click to enter it. Press upload in the top left and then drag and drop the mod file to upload. Once it has 100% uploaded, you can head up to your username at the top of the page and click on it to return to the main panel page to restart the server. Now, before we jump into the game, we're also going to need to install this mod on the client. First, make sure you have either Forge or Fabric downloaded. And once that's done, you can open your Minecraft launcher and then head to the Installations tab. Hover over the profile that you're going to use and then press the Open Folder icon on the right side. In that new window, find or create a Mods folder and then open it, and paste the mod file here and then return to the Minecraft launcher. You can select your new modded profile and then press play to start the game. When you first spawn in, you might immediately notice some changes to your world. Many fantastical new structures can be found across the world, deep underground and in the sky. There are a ton of new structures that you can find scattered throughout your world. From haunted pirate ships to huge tree houses, this mod has it all. Many of these dungeons are filled with twists and turns and can make for an interesting base if you can clear out all of the existing inhabitants. While you can just storm into a dungeon at any time, be prepared to meet the enemies that are waiting inside. Many of these enemies are modified and will appear from spawners, so endless amounts will always spawn to stop you. That being said, your efforts won't go unrewarded since extremely good loot can be found in each of the dungeon's chests. Iron, diamonds, tools, and much more can be found. This can be great to get a head start early on or to avoid spending forever mining for resources in the late game. That's just the surface of the Wind Dungeons Arise mod. You can expect to find so much more as you put in more hours, since it seems like at every turn there's something new to explore. A majority of the dungeons are pretty easy to find since their large size can be seen from almost anywhere. Being able to explore, conquer, and fill your inventory fast with the packed dungeon chests is enticing, which is why this is such a well-loved mod among players. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.